Hello everyone, it's Meg here and today I'm going to be showing you what I will be taking on my next Pacific Crest Trail hike. Um, I've got my base weight down to below £10. So this year I was fortunate enough to spend 84 days hiking the Pacific Crest Trail. Um, I completed 700 miles of the desert section um, and a further 206.2 miles um, of the Sierra Nevada mountain ranges um, and I really hope to be able to continue from where I left off in future and go all the way through the remainder of California, Oregon and Washington to the Canadian border. So without further ado, here's what I'd like to take. So let's start with my big three. Now the pack I'm going to be carrying is the Palante Simple Pack version 2. I'm waiting for that to be shipped so I haven't got it here but I'll insert a picture. And my tent is the Big Agnes Fly Creek UL2 and I have eight MSR Groundhog stakes to go with that. Then I've got the Neo Air X Lite Air Mattress women's version because it has a higher R value. And my quilt is the Enlightened Equipment Enigma 20 degree Fahrenheit um, and the Enigma is the one with the closed in foot box at the bottom for keeping your toes toasty. I also carry the pad straps for strapping the quilt to my air mattress. So the weights of these then, the Plant A B2 is 16 ounces, the Big Agnes Fly Creek weighs 32 ounces, the stakes come in at 2.6 ounces, the air mattress is 12, and the Enlightened Equipment Enigma with the pad straps is exactly 20 ounces. So next up is my cook system. Now this also includes the stuff sack from um, the Enlightened Enigma quilt, which is about a 10 litre bag is ideal for fitting all my food in. Whoops, my spork is the Sea to Summit and the pot that I've got here is the Tokes Titanium 650 millilitres. I've gone up from the 550 that I had last year. So I've secured the lid on with an elastic band. Let's take a look inside. So obviously I'm going with the 4 ounce fuel canister. Take that out. You can see I've got it wedged in there with a sponge for cleaning the pot. Um, I'm going with the BRS stove. It comes in this nice little stuff sack, which is absolutely perfect for fitting in these three items, which is my knife. So I've got the Victoria Equinox knife, uh, scissors, knife, tweezers, toothpick in there, a mini Bic lighter, and of course the BRS stove itself. Um, and I really like the way that this all fits really nicely, um, nesting one inside the other. So the weights quickly then, the knife is 0.7 ounces, bit lighter 0.4 ounces, uh, the stove is 0.9 ounces and the stuff sack's about 0.1, uh, the weight of the elastic band is negligible, the pot with the lid uh, is exactly 3 ounces, the sponge is 0.1, uh, the fuel canister, I actually include the weight of the canister um, not the fuel, but the packaging at 3.5 ounces is in my base weight because you can't consume the the canister itself. You're always going to have that into, in your pack when you come out of town and again when you're going into the next town. Uh, the fork, it comes in at 0.5 ounces, it's actually a spork. Um, and the Enlightened Equipment stuff sack, which I use as a food bag, is 0.6 ounces. So my total food and cook system then comes in at 9.1 ounces. And if I knock this off, obviously that's um, over half a pound off my base weight. Um, but to me, it's really important to be able to have hot coffee in the morning, a hot meal in the evening, and just knowing that I can warm myself up anytime I like um, by boiling that water. So to me, it's worth it. For my water filtration system, I'm using the Soya Squeeze Mini. Um, as you can see, I haven't got any smart water bottles yet, but I will be drinking with the filter screwed straight onto the thread of the smart water bottles. And I've also added a smart water sports cap, which is great for back flushing the filter. Now, I recently found out from Darwin on the Trail, check him out on YouTube, that you shouldn't use tap water to back flush the filter and then leave it for a really long time because you can get calcium buildup inside the filter. So that was a great tip and I'm going to be sure to use bottled water to back flush my filter before storing it now. The Soya Squeeze weighs three ounces and the bottle cap I'm going to be keeping on top of one of the smart water bottles and I'll be needing at least two. Um, so two smart water bottles with the cap would weigh 2.8 ounces and I know I'll need to add more water capacity to this where there are drier stretches. This is my toiletries, first aid and repair system. So I've got um, some chapstick, 
hand sanitizer, DEET, the juice of spades, trowel, really lightweight, good trowel, used that last year, a uh, bag of toilet paper, usually about half a roll or around an ounce, um, and another Ziploc bag for putting the dirty trowel and the dirty toilet paper in there because you have to pack out your toilet paper. Let me unpack my toiletries and first aid kit for you. Ta-da! So in that little Ziploc bag there, I have some gauze, which used in combination with Luco tape on my tracking pole, um, can be used to make plasters, bandages, anything for first aid really that can be improvised. Um, and I also use just the Luco tape on its own, which is great for any blisters. I also have a small toothbrush, small toothpaste, nail clippers, some ibuprofen painkillers, Benadryl, and I think these are anti-diarrhea, um, homemade wanderlust, great channel, she recommended not being caught out on trail without any anti-diarrhea, so I took her advice on that one, check out her channel on YouTube. Um, and this is just repair tape which can be used for my air mattress, it can be used for my tent, um, and it's, it's just a good thing to have really, just in case, and it weighs barely anything. Okay, so the weights of these then. The gauze then. with the repair tape and the uh, tablets there weighs 0.7 of an ounce. The toothbrush is 0.2. The nail clippers are 0.4. And the hand sanitizer, I usually carry about an ounce. Same for the DEET. The chapstick weighs 0.4. The juice of spades trowel, as I said, really light, weighs 0.6 of an ounce. And I usually carry an ounce of toilet paper. And I do not count the Luco tape on my tracking pole um, because I'm carrying it. I forgot to mention I will also be carrying sunblock, not in this bottle because it's too big. I will look for the, uh, I think it's Sunboat sun cream. They come in a tiny little two ounce tube so I'll be carrying one of those because I have a big hat and I have long pants and long sleeves so I don't really need a lot of sun cream. It's just for my face, neck and ears. A couple of miscellaneous things that I am including in my base weight because I am carrying them in my pack is my Ziploc bag with my card, cash and ID. I know that's British money, it's just there for demonstration purposes. Last year I did a gear video and I left my UK plug in my um, gear video which somebody pointed out, which was good. If I'd uh, carried the wrong one it would have been a bit disastrous, but yep, that weighs 0.4 of an ounce. And then my passport, California uh, campfire permit and my PCT permit um, and my visa weigh 1.8 ounces with the Ziploc bag. So next up is my electronics. I have the RAV Power 10,000 milliamp uh, battery pack, weighs 7.2 ounces, so that's absolutely perfect. Uh, the Black Diamond 300 lumen one that's rechargeable, I think it's called the Revolt, and I've changed the strap to the one that comes with the Petzl E-Lite, but I'm going to be changing that back to the one that comes with the Black Diamond headlamp, because um, I tested it on one of my shakedown hikes the other day and it kept slipping off um, obviously I don't want to lose my headlamp so I'll be putting that back to its um, its original headband here I have a three USB port uh, charger it is a little bit heavier but it's worth it to be able to charge my headlamp my phone and my battery pack in town um, and it's all Qualcomm quick charge rechargeable check out uh, Nemo's YouTube video on battery banks and he explains about Qualcomm quick charge really good video I'll put a link to that in the description box below and then obviously cords so two Android one for the headlamp one for the battery pack the iPhone cable which is for my iPhone SE which is the smaller version of the 6 and with a fully waterproof shot proof case on it also put the link to that in the description it weighs 5.5 ounces that is included in my base weight I'm not going to be eating my phone so it's not consumable and I'm not going to be using it as a shoe so it's definitely not a warm item so it's definitely included in base weight um, and some earphones for listening to music podcasts and audiobooks on the trail and leaving no trace and not disturbing other people so the weights of these then the charges weigh in at 0.7 ounce collectively 0.5 ounce for the Apple headphones, the battery bank is 7.2 ounces, the black diamond headlamp with the original headband is 3.5 ounces and the 3 USB port Qualcomm quick charge plug is 2.9 ounces plus 0.1 ounce for the heavy duty Ziploc bag and as I've said my phone with the waterproof case is 5.5 ounces. Altogether then my electronics come in at 20.6 ounces it could be lighter, I could have a smaller headlamp or a smaller battery bank for example, but 
it's just worth it to me for the security knowing that I have a good headlamp and I always have batter, backup battery power, especially because I will be doing some filming. Finally then we have my clothing system. Now this is where I've managed to save about a pound and a half from last year because I figured out that the only thing that you truly need a spare of is socks. Now I wear the darn tough quarter length socks with Injinji toe sock liners underneath. So all I need is a spare pair of Injinji toe sock liners, hard to say, so that I can swap those out, wash the other pair and hang them on the back of my pack. I have a pair of sunglasses, Jaff Wolfskin beanie, which was only 10 pounds from Amazon, a buff, a pair of gloves with the touchscreen fingers, my down jacket, I've saved a lot of money here. I went to Mountain Warehouse, which is a cheap outdoor store in the UK and bought this one. Yes, it's a bit excessive to have a hood and have a beanie, but I really hate being cold, so worth it to me. Now, this isn't the actual rain gear that I'm going to be taking. This is just for demonstration. So I will be taking Frog Togs purple rain jacket, and I'm also waiting to have delivered Enlightened Equipment Copperfield rain pants. Um, and this is really where I've saved a lot of weight between getting rid of extras of clothes and also lightening my rain gear has dro driven my base weight down this year. And my sleep socks, I have a long pair of darn tough, which can also be used to hike in on the last day into town. Now I do also have over here a pair of merino wool leggings, which I'll put in a bounce box for when I get up into Washington and it's colder. They weigh 5.6 ounces, but I haven't included them in my base weight because I won't be carrying them until later on the trail. The weights then, the down jacket weighs 11.5 ounces, the beanie weighs 1 ounce, Injinji toe socks 1.1 ounces, the sunglasses weigh an ounce, 1.5 ounces for the buff, the gloves weigh 1 ounce, the Frog Togs jacket I've ordered is a women's ultralight, weighs four ounces. The Copperfield pants that I've ordered, the rain pants, I believe weigh 1.25 ounces. And the Darn Toff socks for sleeping in, they weigh two ounces. That's it, that's everything that I would like to pack on my next Pacific Crest trail hike. As I said, the base weight is below 10 pounds. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Like and subscribe for more videos.